Hello, I'm Joseph Fiala with The Light Clinic, and today we're going to be talking about Qigong walking. Okay, so when we're walking in Qigong, one of the things we need to remember is that we're going to be using a little bit of a different step than a normal step. So normally, we will do a roll step, right, where we'll stop, start with the heel and then roll down onto the ball of the foot. And then as you get onto the ball of your foot, the heel lifts as you walk to the next step. And then we roll, 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 just like that. In uh, Qigong and Taiji walking, at least the style that we're going to be doing today, the step is a little bit different. We're going to be trying to step on the flat center of our foot. This is a very uh, vital point in our foot called yong chuang, which means this bubbling spring. It's a place where there's a lot of circulation in the foot, and all that circulation comes up the inner legs, uh, up to your groin, and to your pelvis, and to the abdominal organs. So all that uh, circulation can be stimulated with a walking practice, moving up, eventually getting back to the heart. So good for your overall circulation. That's really great exercise, good stuff to learn. But the step is going to be stepping down onto the center of the foot instead of stepping onto the heel. So you're going to step onto the center of the foot, and then as you place the foot down, the foot places down. And then as you transition your weight, the foot lifts up, and it's going to lift up as one unit too. You're going to set it down as one unit, and you're going to lift it up as one unit as you keep walking. And the way to do that, to do this with two feet, takes a little bit of a different structural alignment in your pelvis and in your low back. It requires you to do a couple of different things in your body, which is really fun and really helpful. The things that it requires you to do make the circulation open up a little bit more through your abdomen and your low back. So hopefully you like it, enjoy it, and learn something from it. Should be fun. I'll, I'll change the angle so we can look at my feet a little bit here. Okay, so now you can see my feet. There they are. Okay, so with the walking practice, we'll start with one foot. If you lift it up, you can see we're keeping it flat to the ground beneath us. As you set it down, you set it down on the center of the foot, and then you start to shift your weight into it until you're standing, just like you would be standing, over one foot. Once you're in this area, check out my back foot here. Once you're in this area, now you can lift this whole back foot up off the ground as one unit. You can lift it off the ground. Once you can do that, then you pull it forward and you take your next step and you just gently place it down. Again, as one unit, you place it down all at the same time into the center of the foot. We're going to shift our weight forward until we're totally over top of that front leg. And then you can watch the back leg, then we can lift the back leg up again as one unit. So there's no need for that roll anymore. And we can step it forward, place it down as one unit. And we can change direction with this. So I'm going to shift so you can see a little bit better. So I'm going to lift, all my weight goes to this back foot. The foot that I'm stepping with has no weight on it. And then you lift it up. It's got no weight on it. You open at the hip. Here we are opening at the hip. This is also a little bit different. And then setting it down as one unit, setting it down. Transition all the weight into it. And wait, don't lift this back one up too far or else it's going to come up with you. You don't want it to come up. You don't want the heel to come up. You stay low and you just glide your whole pelvis onto that front foot until all your weight is sinking on the front foot and you can lift the back as one unit. And then again, choose your place to put it, set it down as one unit, shift the weight in. So this practice, just keep flowing with it. Keep practicing through, throughout the day. Okay, so that's our basic fundamentals of how we're gonna do our walking practice. Now you can spend about 10 minutes a day doing this walking. 
It'll be very relaxing for your body and it'll be very stimulating at the same time for your circulation. Should feel really good to open things up moving through your body. Great way to warm up in the morning, especially if your feet are a little bit tender in the morning, any of the plantar fasciitis, your back is a little sore, anything that's stiff in the morning, start the morning off with a little bit of walking like this, very gentle from one foot to the other, about 10 minutes a day. And see how that goes. Let me know how it does. And uh, be sure to subscribe for more videos. It's been a pleasure, always a pleasure. Let's keep working together and keep making this world a better place. Thank you, guys. Thank you.